Welcome back to another Cars and Coasters video. I forgot my glasses and we are back in Disney's California Adventure. Guess what has returned? Check this out guys. It has returned. Now it looks like it's not being uh, used right now. They're just kind of testing it out today. Nobody uh, has gotten gotten on, but uh, yeah, it's making its rounds. I don't know about you guys, but it looks like it's gotten a little shinier. Maybe a fresh coat of paint, a little freshen up there. Now like, I was hoping to get on, uh, on a ride today and show you the inside, but uh, now it looks like today they're just doing some test runs. So, correction, they actually are doing uh, passenger runs today, but it uh, looks like they're, uh, something maybe have gone wrong or something like that, so they're just kind of doing some maintenance on it right now. Maybe we'll catch the ride, maybe we'll see. But uh, we're only here for a short little bit because it's our last day in the park, so we're hoping to uh, maybe jump on. If not, then hey, enjoy it while you can. And what I mean by enjoy it while you can, I mean like enjoy the views. <laughs> yeah, but it looks like, yeah, people are asking about it. Not able to jump on yet. People are dying to get on, that's for sure. And here's your maintenance. Yep, definitely uh, something's wrong. First day back and I already got people working on it. All good. <laughs> Sorry. Pretty cool. Hopefully get this thing uh, fixed and up and running for the day. All right, well, we'll have to come back and check up on this later. Uh, got something else to show you in the park, so let's go. Yes, remember, uh, if you guys seen my last couple of videos, I mentioned something back here. Something new, new, new treat. Hopefully it sticks around for a little while. And uh, we happened to get a reservation on our last day here, and so we're gonna go uh, check it out. It is a sausage, breakfast sausage, uh, corn dog. So yeah, head in there now. Over by Goofy Sky School. At the corn dog castle. <laughs> oh, it's a lot of excitement going on over here. Disney excitement. It is a hot one. Good thing we're not here for long because it is not, it's gonna kill us at the end of the day. Yeah. This heat is uh, it's pretty bad. It's, I think 80, what, 80, 85 degrees out? Yeah, and very bright. And I didn't wear suntan lotion again. Wow. So, to the shade we go. Sunscreen, sun lotion, you know what I mean. Sunscreen lotion. <laughs> oh man, that'd be nice to be on that right now, but unfortunately we only have a limited time of a little bit of time in the park and uh, don't have time for that and I'm very very certain that this is a very long line today <sighs> be nice to go on but we have a six hour drive back home today and uh, yeah don't have the time unfortunately okay it's not that bad it's uh it's actually only 30 minutes but still that's too long for us gotta keep going because this treat actually ends at noon. <sighs> yeah, they stopped serving at noon. So after that, it's straight corn dogs. And we have 25 minutes to get there. So unfortunately, no no rides today. But I think you guys will like this treat. It, it, it looks. Uh, if you guys are a fan of breakfast, like like myself, you will really like this uh, sausage corn dog. It doesn't look very big in the pictures, but uh, yeah. Been seeing a lot of these in the park lately. This is uh, one of the new uh, jerseys, Haunted Mansion jerseys. Pretty cool. Now they are $75, like the rest of them. I understand the jerseys are cool and all, but how could you wear those in this heat? I'm over here dying in a short sleeve shirt with a button up. You guys, you guys are crazy. You guys are insane. And it's a Sunday, and it is hot and crowded. 
Just like the rest of my videos this past weekend. Yep, good old Disney. If you're looking to come here for a slow time, you're in luck because there is no slow times at all. There is not. Ever. Probably not for a long time. Because right after this is literally Halloween. And the crowds are going to be right back here within less than a month. So, look forward to that. Speaking of that, we will be back here during Halloween. We're going to be here actually the first week of Oogie Boogie Bash. So if you uh, if you enjoy these videos, go ahead and follow us along. We did we were here last year for Oogie Boogie Bash, and uh, we were here for two days. Uh, this year we're only going to do one day, and um, yeah, it was actually a really good time. So oh, let's check up on the art over here. By the way, let's yeah, let's do. That. All right, well here it is. Oh, so it's Pocahontas. Yep. And then you have Toy Story, uh, Buzz and Woody, and Ariel, Sebastian, and oh, I love uh, Wally. I just love Wally. Pretty cool. That's a nice, neat art thing. And I don't think this is going to be open to the public to walk on because I believe it's uh, chalk, like that uh, colored chalk. So it makes you wonder if uh, once it rains, it's probably going to go away. But until then, it's a good photo op just to come over here and take some pictures with it. Pretty cool. All right, so we went ahead and mobile ordered this. Our food is ready. So we're making our way over to the Corn Dog Castle. Silly Symphony. Oh, no, it's not Silly Symphony. It's a Zip, Zipher. Zipher? Zephyr. Oh. Like a Zephyr. The song. Anyways. To the corn dog castle. We're uh, listening to Red Hot Chili Peppers, and uh, one of the lyrics in there said Zephyr. So now I didn't see any advertisement of these uh, breakfast dogs, so you have to go up there and just uh, get them, ask for them. Uh, they are advertised on their uh, social media, so yeah, that's how we saw it. Actually, we saw it from other people sharing it. So correction, there is one sign up here. I saw. There you go. On our last day, we always end up finding some breakfast in the park just to uh, go out with a bang, right? All right, here it is. These are uh, $9.29 each. So uh, they come with uh, raspberry sauce on it. It'd be kind of nice if it had like a little cup of uh, maybe some sauce with it, but uh, yeah, that's it. Like I said, they're uh, pretty small. <laughs> that's my hand right next to it. But let's check it out. Okay, so remember how I mentioned they're a little dry? Well, I went ahead and uh, asked for some salt. Yes, they are. It is a little dry. So I was like, uh, you know what? I'm going to see if they get any sauce. And this is what I got. Hey. Pretty cool. They're like, yeah, well, this will work, right? <laughs> Unfortunately, they don't have any portion cups. You would, you would think, you know, Disney would have some portion cups with the uh, ketchup and mustard out front. But hey, you know, this will work. Shout out to the staff. You know, they're super nice about it. And uh, yeah, it definitely works. And so far, the sausage is actually really juicy. It's not that not that bad, but the bread is kind of dry. But yeah, let's try this out. All right, here we go. <laughs> a lot of syrup. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like uh, Knott's Berry Farms raspberry sauce they have. Uh, really good. So let's try it out. <laughs> I'm so fat. <laughs> these these are freaking amazing. Now if we can get this kind of stuff in the other parks, just an idea. But uh, yeah, this was this was really good. So yeah, if you guys come here, maybe ask them for a cup of sauce, and eventually you'll get enough question, like enough, you know, uh, people asking. They might bring some uh, portion cups. An idea, Disney. Just a little guy on YouTube. No one's gonna listen to me. <laughs> now this does have egg in the bottom, so don't get discouraged if your sausage falls out, like mine. All right, should I try it? <laughs> I'm gonna try it just to see what it does. A little salt and sweet, right? That's very uh, chip here.
I'm not gonna lie. It's not bad. It's not bad. Going in for sex. Hey, I like it. All right, we're gonna try something here for you. Don't knock it until you try it. <laughs> Actually, it's not bad, guys. You might sit in here going, oh, God. But no, it's seriously, it's, it's like a salty with a sweet with it. It is not bad. Oh, yeah. All right, well, we're going to finish this and uh, continue, uh, yeah, just do a quick walk through the park and hopefully we can catch a trolley uh, in action. If you guys have noticed, the uh, entrance is open now from the, straight from the hotel parks, or so park hotels, uh, Disneyland Park Hotel, to here. Right next to Corn Dog Castle. Pretty cool, another entrance to the park. Yes, it is a hot day. Oh my goodness. But, gotta still take the views in. So anyways, that snack was actually really good. Uh, for nine bucks, it's not bad. And we got some free water. So, kind of save money by not getting a drink. And a day like this, you're gonna want water. But uh, yeah, kind of cool invention I got there. So yeah, just put the raspberry sauce on the chips and uh, there you go, got yourself a second treat. Well, on the day of recording this today, uh, today's uh, Sunday, I uh, just heard some news, some heartbreaking news on uh, some, uh, on Knott's Bay Farm. Uh, some unruly teenagers had to cause trouble inside Knott's Berry Farm and had to enforce them actually to close three hours early. Now, as a theme park enthusiast, that is just sad. Uh, and the hard, the hard part is hearing that these kids beat up security in the parks. Just insane. That's Who goes to a theme park? and just wanting to wail on some security that's doing their job and just want to have you know good good time and just want to make sure that you have a good time in the park it's just just sad you know and also brings up the topic of halloween haunt uh not scary farm and uh, all the fright fests i don't know if you guys remember last year but it was so chaotic, insane. It's just uh, sad, you know, like these parks go out of the way to do these things for us. And uh, a group of these kids go in there and just ruin it for everybody. But hopefully it doesn't happen here in Disney. You know, I think the, uh, the prices, the price tag on the park makes a big difference. Unfortunately, Knott's Berry Farm and Six Flags of that can't afford to raise prices because Nobody will end up going. Disney has that atmosphere that you just want to pay that price. Pay that, you know, premium price to come see it. <laughs> Anyways, enough of me rambling. Let's go see. I just spilled water on it. Let's go see if we can find the, uh, the trolley. And also the day of filming this is Disneyland's birthday, so we got a special treat for you at the end of the, sh the video. Uh, we're gonna get a special Disney treat from one of the uh, snacks, uh, snack bars in the hotel. Stay tuned. Uh, smell of Joffrey's coffee. I could go for a coffee, but uh, <laughs> it would make me dehydrated, that's for sure. Hence the reasoning why there's no line. It just dawned to me that I forgot to get a special treat from this place. The lobster corn dog. I'm over here eating sausage corn dog, breakfast corn dogs. And I forgot the lobster corn dog. Yes, they have a lobster corn dog. I saw it in one of uh, Chris Povos's uh, Park Pass um, videos. And I definitely want to try it, but unfortunately, I don't have time. So much to do so little time machine gun Kelly what is that you oh my gosh okay it's gonna act like we don't know him because as we know it's a little crazy and he did have a concert last year last night in Anaheim 
So, yeah, steer clear of that guy. So over here by Spider-Man, the show is about to start. Maybe he might crash again today. Okay, we're waiting for Spider-Man. And that sun is just beaming, beaming. We might get a glimpse of him crashing again, so hopefully he has a safe landing. All right, it is hot out here. I'm going on Splash Mountain. Oh my God, that is cold. <laughs> it's a zippity doo dah day. <sighs> Come on, Spider-Man, hurry up. It's dying, it's so hot. You can go down there. I love this view. There he is. Nice mask. I like to keep my identity secret also. Hey everyone, welcome to Avengers Campus. Oh, popcorn! I want popcorn. I think I'm hungry. Alright, so it's so hot out here. I was in the middle of recording that Spider Man stunt show and uh, my phone overheated. So um, I put it in ice water. The benefits of having a waterproof phone, right? So, trying it out. And uh, hopefully uh, I, can fin I can finish this video for you guys. Um, if you want to see the full stunt show, I will be posting it on my Instagram, so stay tuned for that. And it's probably already on there. Alright, we are back in action. It worked. <laughs> Cooled down my phone, so now I can get some footage for, footage for you guys. Alright, let's go. All right, so we've been walking back here through Hollywood Land by the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. And no, tr no trolley yet. <sighs> hopefully it's running. Now we were actually waiting by the uh, Guardians ride over there and Pim, Pim, Pim House Kitchen, or Pim, ah, I can't even think of it now. The, ki the Pim Kitchen and uh, hoping to get a trolley ride back through Hollywood, but uh, unfortunately it, we're waiting for a half an hour now and no signs of a trolley. <sighs> Looks like no trolley ride today, but oh well, hey, at least it's up and running. They're getting the kinks out and uh, I'm sure whoever comes in after this uh, video gets posted, gonna have a fun time on the trolley. VIP tours. Oh, he's got four of them. Huh. Interesting. It's got to be expensive, that's for sure. Just stopped and had a conversation with one of the security guards about the situation over at Knott's Berry Farm. Now, if it happened here, uh, whatever happened at Knott's Berry Farm, they would be banned for life. Now, hopefully, whoever acted up at Knott's Berry Farm gets that same treatment because that will show them they're not messing around. So just something to think about. Just an idea. All right, well the trolley has moved. Now it looks like it's still not loading up anybody. They're still working at the kinks. So like I said, hopefully they're all worked out by the time you guys see this video and uh, you guys can take a ride, nice ride on the trolley. Nice to see it running again though, that's for sure. Hard to believe Disney's gonna be seven years old in three years. So I was just told the buttons for 67 years old is not here yet, they have not came in. So I'm sure they'll be here soon enough. And this is one of the areas you would be able to pick them up at. Like I said before, this hotel is one of the, it's, it is the best hotel on Disneyland property. Every time I come here, I just go, oh my gosh. It's so nice to stay here one day. One day all my FedEx and Coca-Cola hours will pay off and I can afford to stay here with all the rich people. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It'll be nice though. Maybe one day. And no, honestly, honestly, uh, don't need to do a hotel review on this place because you know, it's, it's Disney, it's top notch. Unlike their Disney hotel, which is, needs updates. But hey, it's Disney hotel, that's classic. Can't, can't really touch a classic. Now in just a little over a month, they'll have a new Halloween display right here in this location. Such a nice place, man. And this location over here is where they're going to be doing the birthday treats. Got the birthday macaroon. 
birthday cake cookie. Oh, okay. Tons of cool stuff. All right, so this is the birthday macaroon. Pretty big. Let me tell you, let me just show you really quick. Look at that. So that's my hand. It's a pretty big size. 67 years old, Disneyland. And we happen to get a birthday cake pop. Well, layers of cream in the middle. I'll have to save this for later because I am still full of my sausage uh, corn dog. For, uh, breakfast corn dog. Well, yeah. Not bad. So this is $9 for the uh, birthday macaroon. And for the cake pop, it's $8. So you're looking at around $15, $16 after, well, after tax, it's probably $18. But luckily, we have a season pass, a magic key, and we got to save a few dollars on uh, on the prices. So, not bad. Came out to be 16 actually, total, so. Yep. Look at that, it's like, a, like strawberry frosting in the middle. Okay, that looks, that looks good. <laughs> Let's try it out. I have not been disappointed with anything here so far. Wow. So it's got like a, a raspberry lemon cream in the middle here. Well, that's gonna do it, guys. It's been a fun four days here at Disneyland. Uh, well, three days. And I uh, got a lot of footage. For, hopefully, you guys like the videos. And uh, until next time, I'll see you all again in September. We'll be back here for Oogie Boogie Bash. So stay tuned. And uh, we'll see you guys next time in my Six Flags videos. All right, guys. Take care. Bye. I wonder how much a day Disney makes on just collecting coins in this fountain. It's gotta be in hundreds, right? Right?